Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are in episode number 223. Today we're going to be talking about the URL embed module in Drupal 8. As always, I am Shane Thomas. Make sure you're following me on Twitter at smthomas3. But today we're actually going to be looking at how you can embed social sharing links from Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, maybe Spotify or YouTube directly in your Drupal content and have it display in a nicely formatted way. So rather than just paste a link to a Twitter status, you can actually have it embed the Twitter status directly in your site. Or rather than just pasting a YouTube link or going out to YouTube and grabbing the embed code, you can just paste the YouTube link and the video player will show up right on your site. So it makes it really easy to add those uh, kind of outside social network type sites to embed content directly in your Drupal site. So it works really well for blogs and things like that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So as you can see, we're on the drupal.org page for the URL embed module. It's just drupal.org slash project slash URL embed. And you can see here is a list of some of the different providers that you can embed uh, from. This isn't, the, this isn't the entire list. You can actually go to oembed and see all the different providers that are available. Today we're going to be using the 8.x-1.0-alpha1 version of the module. But before we get started on actually turning it on, we have to install this module. And you're going to want to make sure you use Composer for this. And you can ignore the fact that I'm putting Lando in front of this. That's just my development environment. So Composer required Drupal URL embed. And the reason you want to use Composer is, well, you should be using it in Drupal 8 anyways, but it's going to download the embed module and the PHP embed library. Okay, so you can see it downloaded the embed uh, library here, the embed module and URL embed. So everything sounds good. So let's go back to our Drupal site here, and we're going to actually turn this module on. We'll actually turn them both on. Well, if I just turn this one on, it's going to ask me if I want to turn on the embed module. Of course I do. So I'll do that. And there's only a few things you need to do to get this configured. Once you have it installed, if you go to configuration, content authoring, text editor, embed buttons, you can see that I can add different types of embed buttons here. There's one by default. You can edit it. You could change the button icon if you wanted. We're not going to do any of that. You can also go in and change the settings of where these embed buttons get or what directory they get uploaded to. Again, the defaults are fine here. You probably don't need to change these, but you do have that option if you want to. If we go back to configuration, content authoring, text formats, and editors, we can see we have all our text formats. I'm going to go to the basic HTML text format right now. And you can see here, down in our toolbar configuration, we have our U little URL embed toolbar button. I'm going to drag it into the media section. You could put it anywhere you wanted. And there's a few other things you're going to need to do. We're going to want to make sure we check the box next to display embedded URLs, as well as convert URLs to URL embeds. Now the order of this does matter. We want to make sure we convert the URLs to URL embeds before we display the embedded URLs. And that kind of makes sense. You need to first convert it and then you can display it. The other thing is you may want to, uh, if you want to be able to align these embeds, you can add the different alignment options here. I'm not going to worry about that, but if you do that, I believe you need to have the align images last uh, you may want to double check that, but I believe you want to drag that to the bottom. So one important uh, gotcha here, and you can see this if you go back to the project page on Drupal.org. Under, If you have the limit allowed HTML tags and correct faulty HTML option or filter enabled, you need to configure it so the embeds will work. On the project page here, and you scroll down to the installation, 
it says that you need to add this little bit of code into the allowed HTML tags. And what that's going to do is when it's going through all the filter processing, when you embed this URL, it turns it into this HTML tag or this Drupal dash URL tag. And by putting it in this allowed HTML tags, it's not going to strip it out. So it's going to allow your, uh, your embed to actually work. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have that dropped in there. You can also come here if you wanted to specify specific URL embeds that were allowed or that you were going to use. For instance, I believe you could limit it to just allowing Twitter embeds. I don't want to do that. I want to allow any embed that's supported by oEmbed to be able to show up here. So if we click Save, now we just need to test it out. So let's go to Content. We'll add a new article. So add content, article. So I'm just going to put in some text here and I'm going to click this button and I'm going to now find a Twitter link and paste it in here. And you can see once it shows up, it first just shows up kind of like a block quote here. But when I save the page, you will see that it actually pulls in the Twitter embed. So that actually looks pretty nice. It looks like it's embedded directly from the Twitter site, but it's on my Drupal site. So that's cool. I'm also going to go down and let's try one uh, just to, just so we know what we're doing. We Let's try a, a YouTube link here. So I'm going to put the YouTube link above. So I'll grab a past code karate video, paste it in there. This will take just a second for it to load in, but you can see it pulls in the actual YouTube video. So if I save this, you'll see I have a YouTube video here. I have a Twitter embed here. I could drop in Facebook, Spotify, links, Instagram, anything that's in this oEmbed providers list here. Obviously, you can see some of them here, but this isn't the entire list. There's a lot more than that. So that's really all there is to it. As you can see, the URL embed module is a really easy way to embed links and content from other sources directly into your Drupal site. That's it for this time on the Daily Dose of Drupal. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.